Today, I'm going to talk to you about stage death. We have mentioned stage death quite frequently in our run of videos over the last three or four years that we've been on YouTube. And we said a very long time ago that we were going to make a video about it, and we never actually did. So today, we are going to make a video about stage death. What stage death? That is stage death. Stage death is when there has been no sounds come from the stage within five or ten seconds and the audience has totally lost interest. As a band, it is imperative that you are constantly engaging your audience when you're on stage. That is what they have come to see. They have come to see a band entertain them. And if a band suddenly stops entertaining them and starts swanning about on stage doing other things, they're going to lose interest and they're going to potentially leave. Or even if they don't leave, they may not be as concentrated on you throughout the rest of your set. So please avoid stage death. We have an example of stage death by Oasis. <laughs> This is an example of stage death at an Oasis concert. It lasts 20 seconds, which is way too long, even for a band of their credibility. That was obviously a really big venue. It was a giant open air concert. It was, there was a lot, a lot of people there. Imagine how that would have gone down at a bar with 20 people there. I imagine the majority of those 20 people would have left during that time had the band not been Oasis. People lost interest. It was really boring. After a certain amount of time, people just decided, nope. Like, they didn't even decide it, it uh, something just ticked in their brain that just stopped them paying attention. It's boring. It's boring. You're on stage to be an entertainer, so entertain. Here are some things that I would recommend you don't do to avoid stage death. These are things that... When you're on stage and stage death has set in, sometimes bands will do things impulsively to try and speed the whole thing up or keep the crowd entertained, and they are equally as bad as stage death. In our very, very first video that we ever did, we said introduce each band member, give them a little solo section so they can kind of like get a gist of who all the band members are. Don't do that, it's really boring. No one cares who you are. Don't have on-stage banter. We used to do this in our old band and it was really shit. We used to take the piss out of each other on stage and it just was not good. It may feel as the band that having on-stage banter is good and it builds the whole chemistry and it just provides an entertaining front to the music, but it doesn't. Nobody cares about the personalities of, of the people in the band unless they're a really really big band like bands like Blink-182 get away with it because they are really famous and pe people care what they have to say if you're a really small band playing at a pub the people watching you aren't really gonna care about the other person's joke about your mom and things like that it's just no don't do it which brings me to the point don't bother doing jokes either unless you're a comedy band or a fucking stand-up artist don't bother telling jokes because it is just no they haven't come here to watch you do a half-assed comedy set, they've come here to watch you play music, and that is what they want to see. Moving on from things you shouldn't do, I'm going to tell you some things that you should try to av- No. <laughs> that was just- your brain just went, I know this one! Um, these are a few things that you can try on stage to help prevent stage death. Jam out a little melodic chordy section, something of music that just keeps the whole thing going and doesn't- lose any momentum. If you have, I don't know, maybe a lead guitarist, or it's usually the guitarist that ends up doing this, they can just play a, just a little something, anything really just to keep the whole ambience of the performance going and to stop it falling flat. I would not advise a drum solo because, no, I've never been a fan of drum solos really. Drummers, feel free to disagree with me, but I don't really like them. These little sections should only really be used as backup if stage death does set in. Say if, a, say if an instrument breaks or something, then you have a good, I don't know, a minute or so to fix it while your member jams out a little thing. It could be a few members, you could even rehearse it 
in a practice room before, have a little jamming section kind of planned out if anything should go wrong with your performance. Don't say, we're going to have the jam section between these two songs, only have it if something goes wrong. So then you can fill time and the performance will be back on track as soon as you've sorted all your shit out. It's very important that you write your set list before you go to a gig. And the reason you do this is to make sure that all your songs flow nicely between each other. If you have two songs in your set list that flow really nicely between each other, then have them flow really nicely between each other. Don't have one, stop, talk for 20 minutes, and then play the next one. Have them flow nicely so it doesn't, so it doesn't get boring. Again, every single point on this list is so it doesn't get boring. You can't have stage death if you don't stop. Yes, there is a, a live album that the Arctic Monkeys did back when they first started and every single song flows into the other. There is barely any stops for breath even. It is just crazy. Like song, 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 song. And there is absolutely no risk of stage death there because there is no time for it. It just flows really well and it is entertaining. Another thing you could try is crowd interaction. And a lot of people will get the wrong idea when I say crowd interaction. By crowd interaction, I don't mean, oh, you're having a good time tonight. I mean, talking about genuine things. If you're from another city or another country, then talk about how you feel about being in that country. When we went over to South Korea with one of our bands, they were talking about on stage about how awesome it felt to be on the other side of the world, and the crowd just resonated with it. It just worked really well. It sounded nice. People don't care about you, but if you have something sort of profound or emotional to say, then feel free to say it. Don't waste time with, are well, you having a good time tonight? This song's called This, it was wrote about this. Hope you enjoy it. Don't bother, it's pointless. Just get on with your music or say nice things, one or the other. Don't ever plan these things. These things should only ever exist as a contingency plan should something go awry with your performance. Say if someone's guitar string snaps and it needs replacing or something goes out of tune drastically or I don't know, something goes wrong. Just know that you can do these things if something should go wrong. Thing about crowd interaction is that you can't ever mumble while you're doing it. You have to enunciate your words so people understand you. Because if you're sat there mumbling for two minutes about something, it has essentially the same effect to stage death because people can't hear what you're saying, so they lose interest and they fuck off and do something else. Stay calm, focus, and engage the audience. Also, don't get too close to the mic because when you're too close to the mic, it it, it accentuates the lower frequencies in your voice, which makes mumbling even worse. Step back about an inch to two inches. You're welcome. What he said. Okay, that is pretty much everything I have to say about stage death. I've noticed I do this a lot when I'm talking, I go. Okay, that is pretty much everything you need to know about stage death and how to avoid it. If you have some other methods of avoiding stage death, then please feel free to share them. I would love to hear what you have to say about the whole subject. If you would like to see more videos from this particular series, then click over there. I have recently launched my band and we have released our debut music video, which you can watch if you click over there. So go do that, enjoy it, shameless plugging, etc. Have a good day. Have a good day. Love you.